The Tang Dynasty Tour Chapter 2 Chang'an in a Dream Section 16 Seeing Jian Hu's Feet Before you become a big guy, you must respect the current big guys. This is Yun Ye's 20 years of experience in the workplace. The end of the year is just around the corner, and it has been almost a month since Yun Ye went home, although the affairs are complicated, I have to know my family, I have to arrange my family, and I have to take care of my family. You also have to beware of Li Er's cautious eyes, and he wants to go to Qin Mansion to see Qin Kaiyang at every turn, how can he have time to visit the homes of several bigwigs he knows but it can't be done without visiting, Lao Cheng is waiting for food, Wei Qigong is waiting for food, Li Jing is waiting to ask about the whereabouts of the bearded guest, Li Ji claims to have been fooled by Yun Ye at home waiting for Yun Ye to send him to the door and be beaten. These people can be ignored for the time being, and Niu Jinda's house must be seen, although the people are a little perverted, they are very good to Yun Ye, and sometimes Lao Cheng is not as careful as him. Must pay respects to such elders, and go now. Yun Ye was slapped on the head by his grandmother, she said that no one came to the door in a hurry without saying hello in advance, which was not only rude but also a joke. The dignified mansion can't afford to do it. The old woman regarded the door of the home mansion as bigger than the sky, and she did not allow the slightest rudeness. Suddenly in a high position, a little too restrained, this is understandable, the old woman, along with it. It doesn't matter if it's right or not, as long as she is happy and can live for a few more years, it is Yun Ye's greatest happiness, and having a grandmother to love is better than anything else. In Yun Ye's case, it is best to go to Lao Niu's house to carry a jar of spirits, pack a few braised vegetables, and go in plain clothes and casual clothes. Lao Niu probably likes it too, if you put on the honor guard and go vigorously, it is a fluke not to be beaten, and it is inevitable to be beaten. The old grandmother wanted to rub powder on Yun Ye again, saying that it was a pity that the beautiful boy with red lips and white teeth didn't dress up. Yun Yen would not have complied, he had the intention of burning the house after rubbing the powder, not to mention that the eldest aunt was still holding a silk flower in her hand. Wang Ke can't be stopped, so let him follow, whose horses like to visit neighbors now he is the most laid-back guy in the house. In the morning, the groom accompanied him to run around Suzaku Street, and when he met someone who bought food on the road, he came forward to smell it, chewed it twice, and turned his head to leave if it was not palatable, so that the groom either apologized or paid the bill, and you don't say that the monthly portion of Wang Ke was higher than that of the groom. He was most happy to see the burden of selling thick wine, and he didn't let go until he had drunk two bowls of the wine. Now every day some people sell alcohol at this time and wait for Wang Ke, greeting and calling is the same as meeting relatives, Wang Ke is not alone, every time he drinks, he invites the groom, don't know whether it is true or not, anyway, the groom said so, every day when they come back, the brothers are shaking. Yun Ye doesn't care, Wang Ke's routine is enough for him to eat a snack and drink a little wine, as long as the brothers of life and death have a good time, it doesn't matter whom he invites to drink. Warn the groom, as long as he doesn't treat Wang Ke badly, let him call the shots, if Wang Ke is wronged, it is not a too bored beating to pass. Lao Zhuang went to Zhuangzi, to arrange the old brothers who retired from the army, and the people who dragged their families were also 100 people, and the city could not arrange them, they also liked to go to Zhuangzi, and they could still plant in the territory in the spring, they were all croppers, 
and they would die if they left the land. The newly renovated home mansion was magnificent, a big house with ten entrances, covering an area of dozens of acres, a blue brick and tile house with a lot of yards, which made people get lost. The grandmother values the most the ultra-luxurious archway, and you can see the huge Yoon character three miles away. If it weren't for her grandson in the capital, she wouldn't have gone to the old mansion. Yoon Ye was going to let the brothers live at home, but was opposed by the grandmother, aunts, and Zhuang Sanzu. Said that even if the house was empty, the guards were not allowed to enter the back house, and at most they stayed in the front yard, which was a forbidden place. Anyone other than the owner is not allowed to enter. What kind of strange habit is this, without the spirit of making the best use of things in the end, the grandmother was annoyed and said that men should not worry about the affairs of the family, just take care of themselves. When he arrived at Taiping Fang again, jealousy drove Yun Ye to call this place Mortuary, a group of old immortals, not to mention the superior force, none of them could be provoked by a little marquee like himself. Lao Niu's house is very ordinary, perhaps because there are not many people in the family, the house looks simple, the blue bricks and blue tiles, a word is strong, the hole in the wall can be used as a shooting hole, the corner tower has a wide field of vision, and good for command, just put a few trebuchets on the wall, and then install a few bed crossbows, it is a complete battle array fortress. A weapon to kill the enemy. The hunchbacked old servant led the way in front of him, and his mouth muttered vaguely that it was a long time since a guest had come to the house, and the atmosphere was deserted, he also said that the woman who sent food to the door last time was good looking, and he hoped to see her again. Yun Ye wants to beat him. She brought food to your family, and you even thought about her, it's too annoying, you expect such a Hades palace to be full of guests. Lao Niu sat on the low couch and waited for Yun Ye to see him, a fat woman next to him stood next to him making tea, and on the low table on his right hand sat a delicate faced robed young man, needless to say, this is Lao Niu's whole family, he doesn't have messy concubines, and there are no fancy maids at home, and the one who sent Yun Ye to the back house was a middle-aged servant woman in her forties. Lao Niu refused the title of duke, and only wanted to be a marquis, a low-key mess. Before his waist was straightened, Yun Ye heard the old cow saying, What's wrong with you? You haven't come to ask for peace for almost a month, and the threshold of the home mansion is low this old guy's mouth is too poisonous, and as soon as he comes up, he will buckle a hat that looks down on people, not to mention that Yun Ye can't stand it, even if the prince will be restless. Uncle Niu, Yun Ye hasn't come to the door, because the family is in a mess before it is straightened out, so I hurriedly ran to you to ask for a bowl of wine to drink, except for seeing a doctor for yu gi -Oh gong you are the first I visit. Ha ha ha, the kid is still flamboyant, with a likable temperament, he knows how to make people happy, come to meet your aunt, Lao Niu was satisfied to introduce his family to Yun Ye. Little nephew Yun Ye asks for peace to my aunt, is my aunt healthy? I often hear your Uncle Niu talk about you, you are a generation of talents, and your aunt has been looking forward to seeing you, today I see you a talent, I just look forward to you coming to the house, you see that brother Tiger is inconvenient to walk, and the young people should be close. A very kind woman, Yun Ye enjoyed this family style way of talking. Xiao Ye, don't blame your brother. The first time you came back to Chang'an, it was rude for your brother not to go to the house to meet the old lady. Niu Jianhu, who was sitting on the blanket, 
tried his best to sit up straight and salute Yunya, he was not a good talker, his face turned red when he said a word, and his hands were cramped and he didn't know where to put it. Brother Jian who is too worried, wait for the younger brother to check your injured leg, Yunya has long had this plan, he heard that Niu Jian who was 18 years old when he raced a horse with others, unfortunately, fell off the horse, and was trampled on by the horse and injured the calf, due to the serious injury, he had to saw off a leg, if part of the calf remains, Yunye still has a way to make a prosthetic leg for him to install, as long as he exercises for some time, he will be no different from ordinary people. If the knee is sawed off, then there is no way, with the current conditions, there is no way to make two anti-joints and ensure that they work freely. The range of motion of the ankle is relatively small, and it is still possible to make a prosthetic foot as long as the quality of the circlip is maintained. Niu Jian who may have lost hope in his legs, but he is grateful to Yun Ye for remembering his disability. Lao Niu is different from him, who has seen Yun Ye's ability, not to mention anything else, Yun Ye gave Lao Qin the matter of taking blood and continuing his life, which made the whole of Chang'an city boil, to verify the truth, he went to Qin Mansion yesterday to visit Qin Kayan, he didn't see him for a few days, Lao Qin is now full of energy, although it is impossible to for him kill the enemy in battle, but riding a horse and walking like an ordinary person is no problem, yesterday he also boasted, he will find Wei Qi to compete in marksmanship. Since he can let the sick old Qin ride a horse, there is no reason why he can't let his son stand up, in the past five years, seeing his son who used to be alive and active gradually become depressed, has become his biggest heart disease, Yun Ye, this kid is famous for not seeing rabbits and not scattering eagles, he said to check his son feet, then he has eight points of certainty to let his son stand up. Uncle Niu's little nephew specially brought some food from home today, and especially got you a jar of good wine, why don't we drink it for lunch today? Drink a fart. You see that brother Tiger is still lame on the ground and can't get up, do you still have the heart to drink now check the feet of Jian Hu, as long as Jian Hu stands up, the wine in the old man's house can be drunk as you like. The old cow got up from the low couch and dragged Yun Ye to Jian Hu. Father, the child's foot has been sawed off, don't embarrass Yao Ye, besides, haven't you found all the famous doctors in Chang'an in the past few years? You know a fart, how can those quacks compare with this kid, if he says one day that men can have children, I will believe him. Brother Yun, do you have a way to make Hu stand up, like an ordinary person Mrs. Niu still understands her husband, if there is no hope, the old man will not give her son any more false hope, she is trembling with nervousness for a while, and she can't say anything. As long as I see Brother Tiger's knee intact, it's not a big problem. Yun Ye said with a smile that it can bring hope to others, and it doesn't hurt to do more of this kind of thing. As soon as the words fell, Mrs. Niu fainted with a chuckle, and the old cow hugged his wife and laughed, and his old tears were all over. Niu Jian who jumped up grabbed Yun Ye's shirt and said, Xiao Ye. I just don't have my soul, my knees are fine, look, look. Yun Ye held Niu Jian Hu and let him sit on the low couch, he lifted his robe, and took off the cloth that covered the injured leg, checking the bones, yes, the tibia, and fibula were intact, and his foot was broken from the ankle, this was not a problem for the production of prostheses, as long as you find the right materials, supplemented by a hundred steel plates to make the skeleton, it is not difficult. In my former life, 
the senior technician metamorphosis teacher in Chengdu was to use a bunch of silicone and plastic to make their molds, and then a little bit with a cutter, with fitter tools to repair the shape, but also to fit the size, find a disabled person to put on, let the disabled judge the comfort, fit, all aspects of the standard could be rated as high-tech. It's just that there is no silicone, which is difficult for Yunye, and it can be boiled with cow tendon, which is almost no different from silicone and even surpasses silicone in quality. Without considering the cost, it is estimated that the old Niu will find it. The whole family waited for Yunye to speak as if waiting for the verdict to be announced. Brother Tiger, I don't know what kind of feet you like. Tell the little brother to get it out for you. 